Have you ever pondered the thought of harnessing energy straight from a black hole? A question that seems straight out of a science fiction novel, yet one that science is exploring with growing curiosity. Black holes, the awe-inspiring and somewhat intimidating phenomena of our universe, are a source of infinite fascination. They are regions of space where gravity is so powerful that nothing, not even light, can escape its grasp. These cosmic entities are the ultimate enigma, their mysteries wrapped in layers of complex physics and cosmology. But let's not get lost in the scientific jargon. In simpler terms, you can think of a black hole as a cosmic vacuum cleaner, constantly sucking in matter from its surroundings. Now here's the interesting part. All that matter doesn't just disappear into oblivion, it's subjected to intense gravitational pressure, and in the process it releases an enormous amount of energy. Imagine for a moment that we could harness this energy. It's a concept that seems far-fetched, but it's not entirely outside the realm of possibility. Theoretical physicists have been wrestling with this idea for decades. They propose the use of advanced technologies yet to be developed that could potentially extract energy straight from a black hole's gravitational pull. The amount of energy we're talking about here is staggering. It's estimated that a black hole with the mass of our sun could release more energy than all the nuclear fuel on Earth. Just picture that, an endless supply of power all originating from a single point in space. And while we're still far from turning this concept into reality, it's an idea that continues to inspire scientists and dreamers alike. It's the ultimate challenge, a test of our technological prowess and our understanding of the universe itself. Imagine the possibilities if we could tap into this cosmic powerhouse. To understand how we might harness this energy, we first need to grasp what a black hole actually is. Picture this, a region of space where gravity is so powerful that nothing, not even light, can escape its pull. That's right, a black hole is a cosmic vacuum cleaner with the power to suck in everything that comes too close. But where do black holes come from? They are born from the remnants of massive stars that have undergone a supernova explosion. When a star at least three times the size of our sun exhausts its nuclear fuel, it collapses under its own gravity and explodes, creating a supernova. The core that remains after the explosion is so dense and has such strong gravity that it warps space-time around it, creating a black hole. Now let's talk about a black hole's key features. The first is the event horizon, the point of no return. Anything that crosses this boundary is forever lost to the black hole. Then there's the singularity, the core of the black hole, where all its mass is concentrated. Here, the gravitational pull is so intense that it creates a distortion in space-time, bending it infinitely. Black holes also have an incredible ability to bend light around them. This creates a phenomenon known as gravitational lensing, where the black hole acts like a cosmic magnifying glass, distorting and amplifying the light from objects behind it. But perhaps the most intriguing characteristic of black holes is their apparent paradoxical nature. Despite their reputation for devouring everything in their path, they also emit energy. This is known as Hawking radiation, named after the legendary physicist Stephen Hawking, who first proposed its existence. Tiny particles and antiparticles constantly pop into and out of existence near the event horizon. Occasionally, one falls into the black hole while its partner escapes, stealing a bit of the black hole's energy in the process. Now that we've delved into the heart of a black hole, let's explore their energy. A black hole isn't just a cosmic vacuum cleaner, it's a potential energy gold mine. Now let's dive into the energy potential of a black hole. At the heart of a black hole, we find an immense gravitational pull, so strong that not even light can escape its grip. This force is due to the incredible mass of a black hole, compressed into an infinitely small point known as a singularity. As matter falls into a black hole, it speeds up and heats up, emitting radiation in the form of light and heat. This process, called accretion, is one of the ways black holes generate energy. However, the most fascinating energy phenomenon associated with black holes is something known as Hawking radiation, named after the physicist Stephen Hawking. According to Hawking's theory, even in the seemingly empty space of the universe, particle-antiparticle pairs are continuously being created and annihilated. Now, near the event horizon of a black hole, that's the point of no return. Something interesting happens. 
One particle might fall into the black hole while its pair escapes into space. The escaping particle is known as Hawking radiation. In a sense, the black hole is losing energy or mass because the particle that falls in has negative energy. This process is also known as black hole evaporation. Over an unimaginably long time, a black hole could theoretically evaporate completely due to this energy loss. To put the energy potential of a black hole into perspective, imagine this. The sun, in its entire lifetime, will only output a fraction of the energy a black hole could generate. It's truly mind-boggling. So we've established black holes are energy powerhouses, but how might we harness this energy? That's the million-dollar question, or perhaps the question that could redefine our understanding of energy itself, but that's a topic for our next scene. Harnessing energy from a black hole sounds like science fiction, but some theories suggest it might be possible. In the vast cosmos, black holes are the ultimate energy factories. They are not simply voids of darkness, but intriguing entities that hold unimaginable potential. Let's delve into two theoretical methods that might allow us to tap into this power. But keep in mind, these are currently beyond our technological capabilities. First, let's talk about the Penrose process. This concept, proposed by the brilliant mathematician Roger Penrose in the late 1960s, suggests that we could extract energy from a rotating black hole. Now, you might be wondering, how can we possibly do that? Well, here's the idea in a nutshell. Suppose you throw an object into the ergosphere, the region just outside the event horizon of a rotating black hole. The object would get caught in the black hole's spin and break apart. One part would fall into the black hole, while the other would be flung out with increased energy. This energy could theoretically be captured and used. The Penrose process could potentially extract up to 29% of a black hole's mass energy. Impressive, right? The second concept takes us even further into the realm of the fantastical, the Dyson Sphere. This hypothetical megastructure, named after physicist Freeman Dyson, would surround a star or a black hole completely, capturing a significant percentage of its power output. In the case of a black hole, the Dyson Sphere could harness energy from the accretion disk, the swirling mass of matter spiraling into the black hole. Imagine a structure so vast that it encloses the black hole, intercepting the intense radiation emitted by the accretion disk. This radiation could be converted into usable energy. However, constructing such a colossal structure is currently beyond our reach, both in terms of materials and technology. Now, these methods might sound like they're straight out of a science fiction novel, and to be honest, they kind of are. We're not about to start building a Dyson Sphere or tossing objects into black holes anytime soon, but it's important to remember that what seems like science fiction today could become science fact tomorrow. After all, the idea of harnessing energy from the sun once seemed far-fetched, and now we have solar panels on rooftops. So while we may not have the means to harness energy from a black hole today, who knows what possibilities the future might bring. As we continue to push the boundaries of our knowledge and technology, we may one day unlock the secrets of these cosmic powerhouses. While these methods may seem far-fetched, they provide a fascinating glimpse into potential future technologies. So what would it mean for humanity if we could harness the energy of a black hole? Let's explore this notion, a concept that sounds straight out of a science fiction novel. Imagine a future where energy scarcity is a thing of the past. With the power of a black hole at our disposal, we could theoretically meet the energy needs of our planet for billions of years. This would revolutionize our world, making fossil fuels and nuclear energy obsolete. It would be a giant leap towards a sustainable future. A world where energy is clean, abundant, and free from the environmental disasters that have plagued us in the past. But the potential benefits of black hole energy extend beyond our planet. Harnessing this immense power could also enable interstellar travel, opening the doors to the cosmos. With enough energy, we could propel spacecraft at near-light speeds, reducing the travel time to distant stars from thousands of years to mere decades. We would become an interstellar species, exploring the farthest reaches of our galaxy and beyond. This sounds like a utopia, doesn't it? But of course, harnessing the energy of a black hole is not without its challenges and dangers. First and foremost, there is the technological barrier. We are still struggling to understand the fundamental nature of black holes, let alone figuring out how to extract their energy. 
The technology required is far beyond our current capabilities and may remain so for many generations to come. Then there are the potential risks. Black holes are not exactly the most hospitable places in the universe. They are regions of space where gravity is so strong that nothing, not even light, can escape their pull. Any mishap in the process of harnessing their energy could result in catastrophic consequences, potentially engulfing our entire planet. So, the question is not just whether we can harness black hole energy, but whether we should. But let's not let these challenges deter us. After all, every great scientific endeavor in history has faced its share of hurdles. The key is to approach this task with caution, humility, and an unwavering commitment to the pursuit of knowledge. We must continue to explore the mysteries of the universe, pushing the boundaries of what we know and what we can achieve. We are living in an exciting era of discovery and innovation. With the rapid advances in technology and our growing understanding of the universe, who knows what the future holds? Maybe one day, we will unlock the secrets of black holes and tap into their immense power. Or perhaps we will find other, even more incredible sources of energy out there in the cosmos. As we stand at the edge of this cosmic frontier, one can only dream of the possibilities. Harnessing energy from a black hole is a tantalizing concept, but it remains firmly in the realm of theory. As we've journeyed through the cosmos in this exploration, we've seen the energy enigma that we face as a species, our insatiable hunger for power, for light, for warmth, and for technology is driving us to look beyond our own planet, beyond our own solar system, and into the heart of the most powerful entities in the universe, black holes. We've delved into the basics of these enigmatic entities, these cosmic monsters that bend the fabric of space and time. We've explored their immense gravitational pull and their ability to trap light itself. These features, while terrifying and destructive, also hint at a power source of unimaginable magnitude. The idea of harnessing this power, of plugging into a black hole and using it to light up our cities and propel our spaceships, is a concept that is as exciting as it is daunting. But as we stand now with our current level of understanding and technology, this idea is still a distant dream. The challenges are monumental, the dangers are real, and the technology required is beyond our current reach. Yet, the thought of harnessing black hole energy opens the door to endless possibilities. It's a beacon of hope in our search for sustainable, clean, and virtually unlimited power. It's a testament to our human spirit, our curiosity, and our relentless pursuit of knowledge. We've also glimpsed into the future of energy, a future where our power sources may not be confined to the boundaries of our planet. A future where we tap into the very fabric of the universe to meet our energy demands. From the mysteries of black holes to the potential of harnessing their energy, we've traveled an exciting cosmic journey. Remember, the universe is full of wonders waiting to be discovered.